Let's release our app onto iTunes Connect. Now to do that, open up your project in Xcode 7 and click on the top level tree folder. Then click on build settings and scroll down until you see code signing. If you can't see it, make sure that all is selected at the top and levels. Now under code signing identity, click it down and click iOS distribution. Now what it should do is automatically apply the provisioning profile that we created much earlier on in this tutorial series. Now come up to the top left and we want to select our build only device which is a generic iOS device. Then right at the top hit product and archive. And what it's going to do is build it for release. And once that builds, go on up to Window, Organizer, and it opens up all of the apps you have available in your portfolio. Click on our app, Beautiful RSS Feeder, and click Upload to App Store. Choose your team if you have to. It'll prepare the archive, and then when we click Upload, what it's going to do is it's going to go through a bunch of checks and let you know almost immediately as soon as it's uploaded if everything is okay. And now that is completed. So I'll just click done and I will close this screen. And it goes back to Xcode. Now if this doesn't work for you and it's a common problem, go to product, do a clean and then a build. If you get an error on your submissions or anything like that, simply put it into Google and someone without a doubt has been through it before and just follow their instructions. They're generally very good on Stack Exchange and they'll tell you what your options are for fixing it. Let's go back to iTunes Connect and if we scroll down and we click our plus on the build it'll tell us we have version 1 currently processing. Once that's done processing we can select it. If it doesn't appear in this plus menu, then simply cancel it and refresh the page. And almost 50 minutes later, it's still stuck in processing. Now, sometimes this happens with Apple. They haven't officially acknowledged it, but all of the developers have because it's happened to all of us. If you get this stuck in processing for more than a day, you should come back to Xcode Increment your build number by one, so let's call this two. Every time you submit to iTunes Connect, you have to increment your build number or your version number, and you can never roll back in time. Once you've done that, go through the steps for building it for release again and submit to iTunes Connect again, because sometimes that processing uh, sign never goes away, so it stays stuck forever. It won't affect anything that you build, but just be aware of that. And there we go. Some 12 hours later, finally, I can select my build. I've uploaded two just in case, but I'll select the first one and click Done. And once you've done that, hit Save. And then we have to set our rating. So underneath the app icon, just click Edit on Rating. And it asks us if we have any of the above. We generally have none of these. No, no. Unrestricted web access? Yes, it does have that technically. Gambling, no. And then click Done. Save. And then Submit for Review. It asks you, does your app have cryptography? Which is no. Do we have the right to display or access third-party content? Well, yes, because an RSS feed does imply that right. And yes. And the advertising identifier, we do use it because we use Google Ads. And we only use it to serve ads. We don't do anything else with it. And then you have to sign the agreement. 
and then you have to hit submit. And then once that goes through, you're going to have to wait about nine or 10 days for Apple to actually get round to reviewing it. And in that time, if there are errors or they're not happy with something, they will tell you, you'll have to change it, compile a new build. So you'll have to increase this build number and resubmit it to iTunes Connect. And then they will have to review it again with another nine to 10 days. So it's worth your time actually making sure that your app works really well on version one. Okay, that concludes submitting your app to the App Store.